Hi, this is Rob. I'm just giving a quick demo here of how to forward your Sea to Shore email to go to some other account. This uh, is a way to try to manage having multiple email addresses. So first things first, open up a browser of your choice. In this case, I happen to be running Chrome. Um, and type in the address bar mail.c2shore.org. Notice it completed in my case. Um, once you're there, if you're not already logged in, some people prefer to stay logged in so they don't have to get prompted. Um, I'm just going from the scratch here, so it's prompting me for my username and password, my email username and password. In most cases, it's first initial last name at c2shore.org. You don't have to type in the at c2shore.org in this case, and then the password. When you sign in, you'll get a quick progress monitor probably, and then a collection of your inbox. Um, I'm, I'm not a big fan of the Google aesthetics, so I actually don't use the browser-based Gmail very much. I just have it route over to a client application on either my phone, iPad, whatever. And um, other people, if you want to do that, that's a different topic. But right now, what we're going to do is take whatever future mail I would receive in Sea to Shore and have it forward elsewhere. It won't take all the stuff that's already in there and forward it automatically. So go to settings, which is this little gear on the top right, and then actual settings. And along there you see a bunch of high level items, tons of detail there, but we just jump right over here to forwarding and pop IMAP. And at the very top you'll see forwarding where you can click to learn more. It'll open a separate tab. This link which is too hard to remember. I actually put in the email address I'll be sending and you can go right to it if you want to try and remember it this way if you're more of a, a reader for learning versus a video learner. Um, so anyway, so going in here we'll click on add a forwarding address and I'm just going to choose coincidentally yet another Gmail address for myself which is my personal one robertjosephdaily at gmail.com so say next and that's going to say to confirm it when I do that, it's going to send an email to robertjosephdaily at gmail.com with a number. So uh, I'm going to go ahead, get off screen. I happen to have my email off screen. I'll bring it in online so you see it here. I've actually received more in the past. I tested this out before. So here's the new one that just came in. There's my code in the email ad address, in the email message. Sorry take that away. I could click the link in the email, but I just want to show it to you this way. I'm going to confirmation code, paste it in, click verify, and it says you've verified the forwarding address. Um, at this point, any future email I would have sent to rdaily at cdshore.org would automatically go into my Robert Joseph Daily at gmail uh, inbox. Um, if in the future I wanted to stop doing it, it's a little more complicated looking and it's actually already ready to go. It's checked on disabling and then all you have to do, oddly enough, is go here and remove the forwarding address. You'll get prompted and if I say OK, notice I'm no longer forwarding to any addresses. You can actually add more than one address and then just toggle between which one you want it to go to at any point in time. Again, just because you can doesn't mean you necessarily should. You're, you're going to have to decide if that's the right scenario for you. Alright, that's it. Talk to you soon.